Welcome to a new video. Um, today's subject is eliminating roller marks. A common problem we see in epoxies. You finish a project, you get roller marks, and you wonder what went wrong. Why did this happen? Why are, is the floor getting dirty in certain areas more than others? Or why is some area a bit more sticky and patchy? And a great technique that I'm going to show you today is called back rolling. Uh, the idea of back rolling is going back and rolling over the same epoxy again. So what you're going to see here is you're seeing two workers. The guy in the white, he is the one actually putting the epoxy on the floor. And he spreads it out. The guy in the green sweater that we see right here, his job is to go in the opposite direction. So one guy is uh, rolling vertically, the other guy horizontally. And he's basically eliminating the roller marks. So here the first guy, he's basically just putting the product on the floor, spreading it out. But obviously the first guy can't get a perfect surface. That's the, that's the job of the second guy. So the second guy waits for a bit and then goes back and back rolls that area. And the whole idea here by uh, back rolling the epoxy, there's many advantages. I talk about it in a recent article. I've, uh, I talk about the reasons why we back roll. Um, and the main reason is obviously you want to eliminate the roller marks, but you also get a more uniform distribution of the product. So instead of having one area where maybe you have 400 grams per square meter and next to it 100 grams, you kind of ensure that the entire floor has an equal distribution of product. Very, very uh, useful technique. And I'm just going to show you now this picture. This is from a project where someone did not do any back rolling. They just kind of like splattered the, the, the epoxy on the floor without really, um, without really spreading it out. And what you ended up getting in that picture I showed you was it got dirty. So going back now to this, uh, to our current video, again, the main idea here is you achieve a more uniform floor. Um, and I do talk about it in the recent article. I will post the uh, link below. Um, and the, the main understanding here is that you do get a better looking floor. Um, especially in a large floor, it's, it's common to have like, maybe the worker will miss an area. He might not see properly. By having someone going back and back rolling, he's basically doing like a quality check on the work. And as you can see here, look at when the second guy rolls over, look at the nice surface you get. You get a nice uniform surface um and none of the visible like marks you have when you start out now if you're enjoying this video don't forget to subscribe to our channel you can um, subscribe below and you can also click on the links below learn about our online training course where we talk a lot more about techniques on how to get great looking epoxy floors you can visit our website learn codings to read our articles you can join our online course and of course the products used in this video are from uh, our company ktesis I'm posting a link so you can learn all about the um, the epoxy floor coating that you can purchase on you, you can uh, purchase an order. We are based in Europe, so we can ship to uh, most countries in Europe and up, uh, overseas, uh, depending on minimum quantities. These are the links. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to click on the articles to learn more. And uh, if you want to learn more about epoxies, definitely go join our online course. You'll get so much value for a very very low price. Thank you very much for watching. Have a great day and uh, keep on coming back.